two beautiful people and walking with or two with I don't know shopping with Sonya <laughs> as you know I mentioned that we were going to Canada but first I do a lot of these videos especially around Halloween time that's why I'm breaking out my Halloween gear so please if you like this video please subscribe please go watch those other videos I do a lot of shopping with me's yeah, that don't mean it means a lot to me if you would do that. <laughs> anyway, so we went to a few stores. One we kind of I'll just mention here, and I have like a small haul. We went to a place called Marks, and we didn't know what it was. I'm like, oh, let's just check it out. And apparently, it's a very high-end clothing store. We went to see if we could get my husband some shoes, but they were really pricey so we decided uh, not to give much I mean it's it's good it's got like some decent uh, like the men's section is a little bit bigger than the women's section because I think that's who it pertains to more but some of the fashion was good and some of the prices were all right but a lot of it was very high-end so if you got a big wallet go there but this whole big video is we went to a little store called HomeSense. Now I've never been to HomeSense, but I do know that it's like the sister store of TJ Maxx, Marshalls. So it has some furniture, uh, home decor, home like kitchen supplies, blankets and stuff like that. It's also like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, HomeSense, and Home Goods, and I think Sierra. Like they're all owned by the same people and they're all like a brand of stores so this is just one of them and uh, I guess we'll just see all the goodies I saw and then some <laughs> here we have some planters uh, some guy in a hole more designer like uh, planter uh, stands geez I can't talk I think are the words <laughs> baskets hanging planters multiple ones. This video will get blurry at times because the fluorescents were messing with it and I had to fight a couple times but it's only a couple minutes where it does that. Here's some seats. Nautica brand. Multiple vases. Or should I say vase? Bless birdhouse. Ray Dunn. More uh pots and things like that for the garden or just home decor there's a snail like a bird cage thing not really sure what that was succulent plants more fancy plant bases here are some fake ferns and other kind of succulent plants Flowers. Ferns. Did I say ferns? <laughs> that one was really cool. Here's some flower wreaths. Really pretty if you want to not decorate your door during spring and summer. More fake flowers for table decorations. These were dried bouquets. Pretty cool looking and they looked real. More flower bouquets, white. More vases, a little Mandela tray, a Buddha statue, little baskets or something probably to decorate the de decorate the garden. Candle holder, or you could probably use as another planter. More Buddhas. Not sure what that weight thing was. It was really heavy with the handle right there. They had a bunch of them. There's a candle stand. More pots and trays, vases. Here are boxes, just decorative boxes. You can put anything you really want in them and they have uh, magnets on them. Smart puzzle accessory kit has like the, uh, mat for it and some other things a lot of clearance stuff fur mama i think those were candle holders hello color 
25 bright ideas for DIY decor. Other books. Strange frequencies, fancy desserts, Billy Gibbons, the beauty of time travel. <laughs> These are out photo albums, journey, moments, family, adventure. And these are like planners and just notebooks. There's like a mountain scene. Pause, reflect, grow, mindful journal. 2023 planner. Taking care of me, a guided journal. More decorative boxes. Here's a little rainbow elephant crochet pattern. Here are more decorative boxes, but they look like books. Butterflies through binoculars. Here's more books. The Paper Palace. The Secret Garden. I love the, the new binding of it. Little Women. Phantom of the Opera. The Picture of Dorian Gray. Tom Sawyer, The Time Machine, Robin Hood, Three Musketeers. 21st Century Art Book, Astrology, Charlie Brown Hat, for adults apparently. <laughs> Xbox and PlayStation Lights, Dartboard. Here's some of the furniture. There's like an ottoman, uh, lawn chairs, umbrella, like a hedge, fake hedge. And here's some bakeware, cookie sheets, masterclass, muffin, bread tin, slow cooker kind of thing. They're all, a lot of them were masterclass brand. Two bakers, there's ceramic baking dishes, like this. Cupcake holders, I think they held 12. Cake pans. The Game Night Cookbook. Here was a unofficial Harry Potter cookbook. These were on the other side of the baking things. Tokyo cult recipes. Joshua Wiseman, don't really know who that is. Unofficial Disney Parks cookbook, pretty cool. Secret Lives of Big Go Goods. Here's a tear tray, you can probably put cake on it too, but it could be for decorations. Steel straws, a peanuts whisk, knives, these are all like clearance items. Here are fruit baskets and paper towel holders and uh, dish dish strainers all pretty <laughs> more baskets and uh, flour sugar containers life happens life begins after coffee the secret ingredient is always love but coffee really helps with the life happens there <laughs> here are compost buckets pretty handy bread baskets down there and here is a lot of their Tupperware. There are so many of them. I look on a couple of them. Oh, these were pretty cool. They're popsicle molds of farm animals. Cow, pig. And these bamboo Tupperware I really like. They come out like every season. Uh, chalkboard, uh, Tupperware in jars, kettles, a couple mugs. Here's some of their furniture. There's an ottoman and some green chairs. Another chair. Some pet bowls. These are like honeycomb shelves, wall mounted shelves, different variations of them. Hooks for like co coats and keys and things like that. And here's more like artwork. 
there's like a scroll of like a beach scene. Taper trees. <laughs> this is really cool, but I would probably paint it black. More wall art, hearts, flowers, shells, and just really cool abstract art. And a lot of them were metal. More wall shelves. Another cool mirror. Whole bunches of chairs. If anyone needs an accent chair or a gaming chair, they have those. <laughs> or you can put use them as your dining room chairs also. Here's more and well not more, but here's some more furniture and tables and drawers and things like that. Some of them look kind of like they could fit in the 60s or 70s. Pretty cool. That black marble one's looking pretty weird. More chairs. These are more like patio kind of sets right there. Kind of like that rocking chair. Some more accent chairs. Some brown ones right there. This setup was pretty cool. I would love that if I had a bigger yard. <laughs> There's a screen. See-through bamboo screen. Yellow chairs again. Reminds me of the 60s and 70s. Just kind of like walking through showing off couches and chairs. This one, that gray one looks like a couch but it was two chairs. Black sectional. Coffee table. A couple of accent chairs. Cupboard. Little coffee table. Gray chairs. There's a couch back there and a couple like armchairs. A tray table, which is kind of unique. Here's a bunch of laundry baskets or just toy bas baskets, anything you want to use. <laughs> Very different variations, fabric and plastic. More of the furniture. Here's a close-up of a few. Some like wicker chairs. Children's chairs and towels. Beach towels and things. A little couch for a room which is pretty cool. Lamps. Game pad- Game controller. Pillow. Dump truck. Cement truck. Some sheet sets and blanket sets. Here's like a space scene for boys or girls. It's kind of uh, gender neutral on that one. Some random dress right there, a little girl's costume dress. A couple of baby things. These were like cool, they're uh, silicone spoons, never seen that before. Sonic blanket. Penguin blanket. Ban blanket. <laughs> Stegosaurus, Triceratops, kind of dinosaurs pillows. Tables. Kitchen set, like a basket for outdoors or indoors. More baskets. There's a big patio furniture couch. Some more chairs and tables, like a hanging basket chair. Little like bean bag squares right there. Patio pillows. And more pillows and some benches that you could actually buy. Hey, oh Canada. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little walkthrough and see some interesting things. I think it'd be really awesome to go during Halloween because I know Home Goods, if you look at my past video that I went to, had a lot of Halloween things, so I'd like to see what that was. Maybe I'll go back. Well, who knows? Anyway, like I said, I have a mini haul, so without further ado, we'll get right to it. Up first, uh, I saw these kind of at the end of my journey, but it's a four pack bamboo fiber bowls and they have like black cherries on them I love cherry decor and these are actually really cool because like they're kind of indestructible I mean they're not microwave or well I think they said they're dishwasher safe not microwave safe but dishwasher safe but I don't care because I think it'd be really good for like cereal salad ice cream stuff like that and 
We have like no bowls in this house, so hopefully these won't break as easy, like ceramic ones. <laughs> um, another bowl that I got was this green, kind of like the same thing, kind of bamboo. I think I believe it's bamboo. Based on bamboo fiber and corn, reinforced with melamine resin. <laughs> yeah, it's just a nice green bowl. It's a good size, perfect for like ramen, soup, a salad, also. But I think it's like around the same kind of bamboo. But so that was Home Sense. The Mark's place. I got. I'm not gonna show it, but I got a pack of uh, a two pack of underwear. And I got this, I think it's a men's sweater, but I've always wanted like a huge oversized sweater to just kind of lounge in or wear as like a dress. And uh, I thought this one was perfect because it's very close to like a fall color with blue and like a brownish orange. <laughs> and I believe that is it. So uh, to any of my Canadian fans over there, we love you. Can't wait to go back because we didn't really want to come back today, so. <laughs> Like I said before, please like, comment on this video, and please subscribe because I make uh, multiple shopping videos and some other holiday editions. So, without further ado, see you next time. Bye.